Hey guys, welcome to the 28th episode of Let Your Voice Soar. My name is Jeff Alani Stanfield. I'm your vocal coach here at Voice Soaring Studios. Actually, today we're in my buddy Dave Melisco's recording studio, and I'm here with Shane Long. Shane is an amazing singer that I've had the <laughs> opportunity to see many performances, and today he's going to be working through some vocal exercises, and then we're going to coach through Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. Shane, so happy to have you here. Can you tell them a little about yourself? Sure. Well, first, I'm really excited to be here. Um, Thank you. To be working with you again. Um, I do a lot of local theater, and I, I love to sing, I love to act, I love to dance. Um, but I don't do this as my full-time job. I'm not pursuing this as a profession. Um, I you know, sold my soul to corporate America, as I like to say. <laughs> um, so this is just a really big passion of mine, and I'm really excited to work with you on, on refining my my instrument. Great. So we've actually only had one coaching session together, and that was about two weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, and so how did the vocal exercises work out for you? Oh, they worked out really well. So I, my voice has never felt so healthy, and I've also have built up more of a stamina to power through some of these um, bigger, high rock tenor songs that I've been working on the past year. Great. Yeah. We've been communicating since yeah. we had our first session, and you said something that was really interesting. <laughs> you said that in the last few years, you've kind of done all these amazing shows, like you did yeah, chess, and you yeah. had to sing Pity and the Child, and then you did Newsies, you played Jack in Newsies, right? 31-year-old Jack Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you've done a lot of great roles, and you did Wild Party, which everything is super high, yeah. and you said that you've done most of those roles kind of like caution to the wind, just kind of... Yeah, just kind of threw my voice at it, you know, high Bs, high Cs, just to see what happens. Right. Uh, and I, I powered through it, you know, I did, yeah. I did get to do it, but do I was great. always really tired afterwards so yeah. uh, uh, you know this has helped me to be able to like I can sing this stuff over and over and over again now and not get not tire my voice out like awesome awesome so we're gonna work through some vocal exercises to get him ready for this amazing piece of music Gethsemane mm. from Jesus Christ Superstar and uh, you actually said you hey, woke yeah, up yeah. Did a little stuffy so you know on days like this we actually have to work through exercises that will sort of cut through that because if you had a show tonight you can't call out right, right. You have to sort of do it mm -hmm. so uh, let's see how this goes and cool. let's get you nice and warmed up great all right cool let's do it okay so we're gonna do some awesome vocal exercises for Shane to get him warmed up one of the first things I like to do, Shane, is to get the voice really going on the high end in the falsetto. So we're going to use the consonant vowels bri, bre, bra, bro, bru with a pant in between. And that pant is something that we talked about in episode 21, which gets your vocal engine going. And Shane has an amazing vocal engine anyway, but this is going to really get it nice and revved up for the top. So you're going to sing bri, bre, Ready? Bri, bre, bra, bro, bro. Bri, bre, bra, bro. that when you breathe you're you're doing like what a lot of us tenors do is that so it'll really help you if you can actually breathe more into your back mm -hmm. so why don't you put your hands right there on your ribcage and almost imagine that these are closing and let the back open you'll feel a lot more power you ready Bri, bre, bra, bro, bro. That changed the sound. Yeah, that? sure did. What do you think that changed? Uh, it changed well the amount of breath that I was able to take in and the control that I had over it, because uh, I was able to fill up a little bit more from the back and push Great. it out. Great. Yeah. I, I got that opening of the back rib cage from my late teacher, Leona Matthews, and that changed everything for me. As soon as I learned to breathe into the back rib cage, I felt like I had more control of the release of the air mm -hmm. because I was a notorious overbreather. I would breathe like, <sighs> and then I couldn't sing. I'd be like, why can't I hit the high notes? You know? But as soon as I got the back and then the diaphragm started to relax a little bit, then I had more control over the, the mission of the air. Bre, bra, bro, bro. Beautiful. So the other thing that will help you is in between sets, yeah, in between half. 
half steps is just to go. So many times in my lessons with my teacher, he'll say, could you leave some air in the room for me? Because I'll be like, you know. So if you blow some of that air out, that will actually help reduce the compression. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Three, three, bro, bro, bro. I sort of thought about things that really work for your voice. This is it. very simple. You're just going to sing. And if you okay. listen to what the exercise is doing, it's closing the chords on the bottom, it's opening to the A, and then the A sends the voice forward. Okay? This is just an old exercise from my teacher, Leona Matthews. She's a Lithuanian, and she had these amazing exercises. They were so simple, but so effective. So you're just going to sing C, C, Bravo, G. It's very important to roll your R up there if you can. Mm -hmm. Ready? C, 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 Bravo, G. C, 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 Bravo, G. Si, 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 bravo, G. Right. Shane, can you give yourself a hug? Yes. We worked, we worked at the hug. Did that Papa, work for you? The hug works really well for me. Yeah, okay, let's go. Si, 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 bravo, G. Si, 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 bravo, G. Si, 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 bravo, G. Si, 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 bravo, G.
stopped right there. Good. Stop. <coughs> yeah. Great. Thanks. Um, one thing I would like to hear. Sure. You're such a, I've seen you perform, so I know that you're a good actor. I would like to hear a little bit more difference in... I want da, da, to know, da. I want to know, my God, I want to see, I want to see, my, you know. Sure. Where you have a little bit more difference in your emotion, because right now it sounds great. But it's just... It sounds, it sounds all the same. Cool. Yeah. So if you can vary it up a little bit, yeah. let's go back to... Let's do it. See the saga through and... Ready? Sure. See the saga through and do the things you ask of me. Let them hate me, hit me, hurt me, nail me to their tree. Want to know my God? Want to know? Want to know my God? Want to see it? Want to see my God? Want to see it? Want to see my God? Why I should die? Would I be more noticed than I ever was before? Would the things I've said and done matter anymore? I'd have yeah, that's great. So you you hear that? You know those parts on the piano where it goes. <laughs> Yes. It kind of guides you into like how much energy that you need to use because you know the first part like that. Then he's like, you know, would I be more noticed? And feel free to put a little bit more emphasis on 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 the words that are really important in those phrases. Would I be more noticed than I ever was before? Why I should die. Would I be more noticed than I ever was yes. before? Would the things I've said and done matter anymore? I'd have to know, I'd have to know my God, have to know, I'd have to know my Lord, have to see, I'd have to see my Lord, have to see, I'd have to see my Lord. If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? I'd have to know, I'd have to know my Lord, have to know, I'd have to know my Lord. I would love to hear you because you, I just think this is that great. Your voice. Sure. Can you do? Uh, I have to know. I have to know, my lord. I have to know. I have to know, my lord. Sure. Just, just give it a little bit more. It gives it a little bit more gospel flavor because you know this is a, this is rock opera, but yeah. it's very gospel-y. Sure. If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? I have to know. I have to know, my lord. I have to know. I have to know. I have to, which no, which one? I have to, I have to know, I have to know, my lord. I have to know, I have to know, my lord. Have to know, my lord. Ready? Yeah. So, if I die. Got it. If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? I have to know, I have to know, my lord. I have to know, I have to know, my lord. Can you show me now that I would not be killed in vain? Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Show me there's a reason for you wanting me to die. You're far too keen on where and how, but not so keen on why. If I keep it there. That was great. I don't need to go up to the G again. No, <laughs> that's all you need. Yeah, that's you don't need to go there again because you already gave it. So um, that was great. That high C was just like nothing. So that's, that's these warm-ups. Yeah. It's these warm-ups. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to skip through the, the instrumental part. Uh, Dave is going to be playing for this and for the performance part, and he plays way, way better than I do. <laughs> and uh, so we'll, we'll keep that in for the performance. But for now, let's just keep going because we only have two more pages. I love these last two pages. Me too. Because there are so many things that you can do with it. And, you know, because you go back to that beautiful line, you know, the big, beautiful flowing line, and then you get to add a lot of stuff on the top. Then I was inspired. Take the 
this cup away from me, for I don't want to taste its poison, feel it burn me. I have changed, I'm not as sure as when we started, then I was inspired, now I'm sad and tired, listen, surely I've exceeded expectations, tried for three years, feels like thirty, could you ask as much from any other man? But if I die, see this saga through and do the things you ask of me. Let them hit me, hate me, hurt me, nail me to their tree. I'd want to know, I'd want to know, my God. I'd want to know, I'd want to know, my God. I'd have to see, I'd have to see, my God. I'd have to see, I'd have to see, my God. Why I should die? Would I be more noticed than I ever was before? Would the things I've said and done matter anymore? I'd want to know, I'd want to know, my Lord. I'd want to know, I'd want to know, my Lord. I'd want to see, I'd want to see, my Lord. I'd want to see, I'd want to see, my Lord. If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? Have to know, I'd have to know, my Lord. Have to know, I'd have to know, my Lord. Can you show me now that I would not be killed in vain? Show me just a little of your omnipresent brain. Show me there's a reason for you wanting me to die. You're so keen on where and how, but not so hot on why. All right, I'll die. Just one.
to thank you so much for coming in and doing this episode with me. I know this is going to take you farther in your auditions. And if you guys want to follow Shane on his Instagram, what is your Instagram? It's sjlong88. Great. We'll put it in the description below. And be so thankful if you subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing so fast. And we're so thankful for all of you who are already subscribed. And be sure and turn the notifications button on. But until next time, keep, keep singing, singing and, and let your voice soar. Away from me, for I don't want to taste its poison feel it burning I have changed I'm not as sure as when we started then I was inspired now I'm sad and tired